Hi, so in this video we are going to solve a problem which was sent by Mr. Muhammad Takir. So the problem statement is we have an equilateral triangle ABC circle passing through all three vertices of triangle ABC. That means the circle is actually a circumcircle. Given that the area of the circle is 16 pi, we have to find the perimeter of the triangle ABC. That means we have to find each side of the triangle. So if we can find each side of the triangle, we can find the perimeter also. So we are going to approach this problem in two different manners. So I would advise you to watch this video till the end. So when we make circumcircle of any triangle, we draw the perpendicular bisectors of any two sides and wherever those two perpendicular bisectors intersect each other, we take that point as the center of the circle and radius of the circle will be the distance from that intersection point to any of the vertex. So that is the method. But in case of equilateral triangle, that perpendicular bisector of each side also becomes median of the triangle. That means those perpendicular bisectors sectors will also pass through the vertex opposite to it. So if I draw the perpendicular bisector of BC that will actually be a median from point A to side BC and similarly the perpendicular bisector of side AC will also be a median from point B to side AC right and they intersect each other at O. So if I see this triangle this one let me make that triangle in red. So if I talk about triangle ABD, the triangle which I have made in red, this triangle here, this angle will be 90 degrees because AD is a perpendicular bisector of BC. At the same time, it is also the median from vertex A. And since it is an equilateral triangle, this angle will be equal to 60 degrees. And this is a right angle triangle. That means AD by AB will be equal to sine 60 degrees, which is equal to root 3 by 2. That means AD is equal to root 3 by 2 times AB. And if I assume the length of each side of this equilateral triangle as A, then AD will be root 3 by 2 times A. This will be the length of AD. Now, we have also discussed that AD and BE are also medians. Then this intersection point will also be the centroid for this triangle ABC. And we know that centroid divides each median in the ratio of 2 is to 1. That means AO will be 2 third of AD or I can say AO will be 2 third of root 3 by 2 times a. So this 2 will cancel this 2 and this root 3 will divide this 3 root 3 times. So this will be equal to a by root 3. So the length of AO is a by root 3 and AO is also the radius of the circumcircle for the triangle ABC. And we are given that the area of that circumcircle is 16 pi and area of circle is given as pi r square which is equal to 16 times pi that means r square is equal to 16 or from here i can say r is equal to 4 so we can say the radius of the circle which is equal to ao is equal to 4 that means 4 is equal to a by root 3 or we can say a is equal to 4 times root 3 so since one side of the triangle is 4 times root 3 so the perimeter of triangle ABC will be equal to 3 times 4 multiplied by root 3 that is 12 root 3. So this is one way of looking at this problem. There is one more way of looking at this problem. One thing is very clear to draw the circumcircle we have to draw the perpendicular bisectors of the two sides at least two sides of the triangle that we have done and since it is an equilateral triangle these perpendicular bisectors also act as medians and the radius of that circumcircle will be AO and the point where these two perpendicular bisectors intersect each other that is point O and the distance from that point to any of the vertex will be equal to the radius of the circle and we are given that the area of circle is equal to 16 pi which is pi r square so from here we found that r square is equal to 16 or we can say r is equal
equal to 4. So AO is equal to 4. And one more specific thing about the perpendicular bisector or the median of equilateral triangle is all those medians are also the bisectors of the angles of the triangle. If I talk about AD, it is the median from point A. At the same time, it is perpendicular bisector of side BC and at the same time, it divides the angle A into two equal parts. That means this angle will be equal to half of 60 degrees, that is 30 degrees. And this angle will also be half of 60 degrees, that is 30 degrees. That means triangle AOB is an isosceles triangle where OB is equal to OA and in any isosceles triangle if I draw the median that will be the perpendicular bisector of AB. This is one of the properties of isosceles triangle that means this is equal to 90 degrees and now if I call this point as G then AG will be equal to G B. A G will be equal to G B and now if I take triangle A O G, A G by A O is equal to cos 30 degrees which is equal to root 3 by 2. That means A G is equal to A O multiplied by root 3 by 2. A O is equal to 4. So this will be 4 multiplied by root 3 by 2 or 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4 that is 2 root 3 and A G is actually half of side A B that that means AB is equal to 2 times AG that is 2 multiplied by 2 root 3 that is 4 root 3. So the perimeter of equilateral triangle is 3 times the side and length of side we have found as 4 root 3. So the perimeter will be 3 times 4 root 3 that is 12 root 3. So, this is another way of solving the same problem. So, thank you Mohammed Takir for sending me this problem and that's all for this video and for many more interesting videos keep watching MathSmart and bye bye till then.